let us start the first chapter sensations and response now we can discuss the chapter begins with a beautiful picture you can see children and other organisms look at the picture the children and other organisms involved in a variety of activities as a result of these activities the children and other organisms have a variety of experiences which are the experiences in this illustration a child tasting a mango as a result the child experiences the sweetness of the mango another child get the feeling of cold on the face a snail withdrawing its body into the shell when it is touched we can also see parrots fly by hearing the noise what are the factors to which the children and other organisms respond here list out the factors the child tasting the mango get the experience of taste while water is blowing on the face the child get the feel of coldness of water the snail withdrawing its body into the shell when it is touched also the parrots fly away while hearing the sound so now we can conclude here the factors to which the children and other organisms respond are the taste of mango the coldness of water touch sound etc the senses that evoke responses in organisms are called stimuli here we can see the children and other organisms respond due to certain factors and these factors are called stimuli so stimuli are the senses that evoke responses in organism in the introductory picture here we see different types of factors or stimuli which create responses to the organisms are these stimuli coming from outside the body or from inside the body examine observe the picture and make a conclusion the stimuli that we see in the picture are from outside the body now there is a question are there any stimuli from inside the body now observe the picture when do we feel like drinking water is the stimuli of drinking water is from outside the body or from inside the body the feel of thirst or the feel to drink water that stimuli is from inside the body what are the other stimuli or factors from the body as like that of thirst hunger blood pressure pain feel of urination etc are stimuli from inside the body so we can classify stimuli in the two one stimuli from outside the body such stimuli are called external stimuli two stimuli from inside the body and such stimuli are called internal stimuli you know these stimuli are received by certain specific organs in our body for example the light is received by eye the sense of taste is experienced with the help of tongue these organs are called sense organs can you name other sense organs in our body look at the picture you can see two sense organs tongue and eye the specific organs that receive the stimuli are called sense organs there are specialized cells in the sense organs and other part of the body to receive stimuli these cells are known as receptors they receive stimuli and generate suitable impulses when the receptors receive stimuli they are generate suitable impulses in the body and responses occurs when these impulses generate there is a special organ system in our body to respond the stimuli and control and coordinate various body activities or physiological activities you know the name of that organ system what is the name of the organ system which is responsible to receive the stimuli and control and coordinate various body activities the name of that organ system we have already learned in standard a what is the name of that organ system the organ system which is responsible to perform the above mentioned actions of nervous system now we can analyze which are the major parts of this nervous system look at the picture you can see the major parts of nervous system the nervous system consists of three main parts 
one is brain two spinal cord and three nerves so the nervous system consists of brain spinal cord and nerves the major concepts in this topic what is stimuli how many types of stimuli are there what is the response what is nervous system which are the parts of nervous system in the next part we can discuss the component of this nervous system that is neuron